just underneath. Will Trap and Jan Gregor, we know that they can hold down the fort just behind those three that are going to try to feed Timu Puki. Luchi Gonzalez has been so pleased with his performance since joining the squad, but also Yamiro Montero sitting in that midfield role. He said, we can be in survival mode or be excited, go out and take control of our own destiny. They'll look to do that tonight. Started the final two games for Canada at the Gold Cup. Come up with big save after big save. He starts the breakout for Reynoso, lets it launch, and shaves it just wide of the near stick. Got his team in position over the line coming into tonight. Longwane. Reynoso! Ripped it again off the side netting. Manny Reynoso finds this on his left foot. You see this ball over the top. First, he's in an offside position. He does well there knowing that to allow Bongo Gukle Longwane. He could have served it into Puki right there. He had him floating around the penalty spot. Instead, he finds Amanda Reynoso, who gets it on that left foot. And Danielle is kind of cheating. He's cheating to that far post, thinking that's where that left-footed shot's going to go. He nearly beats him. Trap. A little one-two with Taylor. Longwane! Skied it over on the first time. Looks inside, it's to a Boba seat. Now for Hoppy! What a glorious look. Judson, who's one of the substitutes tonight for San Jose, just urging his team on over the end line there as they're warming up. Two scoring opportunities. First, Montero with a brilliant little dummy to find a Boba who couldn't quite get it out of his feet. Hoppy continues his run. He's trying to curl around to the back post to beat Dan St. Clair. Just not enough curl on it. the weekend of the 14th and then decision day of the 21st. Espinoza got a good pocket here. Trying to imitate. Acapo does just enough on that one. Ted Uncle will send us to halftime with no goals to speak of. And here in MLS season 28. That's one thing you don't have to worry about with him is effort, energy, leadership. He demands as much of himself as he does of others. Longwane on the juggling act. Bongo Hukle Longwane. Big staff is out. Well, and watch this ball. It pops up here. Well done once again by Frank Apane, excuse me, on the right-hand side. It's Reynoso to find Juan right there. Look at that clever little left-footed touch. But it pops up onto him on the first time. The defender can't get there for the second. He goes for the volley out of the air to the back post and misses, all the while Beeson and Danielle. Hoppy was waiting for it. Pocket pick, holy cow. Reynoso. With the theft, Trap galloping forward. Trap, Longwane, Rodriguez, Puki! It's the Finn with the finish they've been waiting for. Minnesota United in front. And he does so here. Look at him kind of drifting off the back shoulder, getting on the wrong side. He's separating himself, and it just falls kindly, and all he has to do is tap that one in, inside of the right boot, pass it home. 1-0, Minnesota United. As Longwane just couldn't get it out of his feet, but Puki does well to stay patient. He kind of stays out of the traffic, stays out of the area until the ball finds him. Stays with the Minnesota Thunder. Nightly done, Espinosa and Cowell! Hit it toward I-94. Puki. The ditch effort by Beeson. Ariaga that drive. Hit oh. Puki and what a save! Had five plus saves in five of the last ten for Minnesota United. Starting to see some action. Here is that last 
attack for the Loons. I mean, Ariaga, I don't know that he was passing the ball to Pookie right there, but nonetheless, it finds it tested right now. Espinoza starting to go at him 1v1 more and more. That one just inside the edge of the 18, but Espinoza doesn't go down. Risto's got to be smart about his 1v1 defending on this side. This is Cape Cowell. Cape Cowell. The switch from Grueso. Into Fragapane with the clearance to Skayen. Now Espinoza slips around his fellow countrymen. Set it up on the backside. A beauty for Marie. And it's deja vu, the French fullback. Brings in the nightmarish thoughts for Minnesota United's faithful. The Quakes on even terms. And watch Espinoza. Beats Fragapane right there with a nice little touch around. But look at Espinoza. He's looking up the whole way. Perfect pace on the pass. Cowell had tucked inside. Rodriguez had stayed up, waiting for the service. And it's Paul Marie on the back post. Look at that. Inside of the left boot, just on the wrong side of Longwane. Then when you get put in those situations, especially in games that matter, let's say you get into the postseason and it's a one-off and you got to find a way to lock it down, then you've been comfortable in that moment. You've been in that scenario before to try to win a one-goal game and a, a silly foul by Ariaga here. He comes in so late on the slide tackle. Churns upfield, Yule. The back check of his own for the Bloomington, Minnesota man. And it's to Cowell in open spaces. Rodriguez, the center back making the run, but it's Cowell who crushed it just wide. Trying to make the postseason for the third time in 11 years, the Quakes. And they're one point closer. They know their way around the Singletons this season in MLS.